22nd, 5 to 3 p.m. I'm here in San Francisco in one of San Francisco's most important landmarks, the Coit Tower, which was built in 1933 uh, with funds donated by a private benefactor. And um, the murals were actually sponsored by the U.S. Department of uh, Public Works, uh, created in 1933, just in the middle of sort of, a, of the economic downturn. And these murals provide a wonderful snapshot of the economic history and social history of California in the 30s. Now this looks like a, uh, what are the, a surveyor, I guess, a geographic or a geological surveyor. Um, all these murals were sort of created, I guess, to some degree, yeah, by different artists. And um, they're sort of a snapshot into the uh, industrial and economic history of the 1930s. You can see a guy here with the San Francisco Chronicle. Up here, this looks like some sort of an industrial process again. People work, oh, this is printing presses. That's what that is, linotype. So this is basically the press of the 1930s. You can see here, uh, San Francisco Chronicle, April 1934, artists finish frescoes, Coit Tower murals. So this is actually April 1934. Um, you can sort of see this is a very, very good example of what it would have been like to, uh, to work in the media in the 1930s and the press. Uh, on this side here, we have other details of, of, the, pre of the fresco. What do we have here? CWA Coit Tower de de uh, Decoration Commission. Uh, what else? Destruction Artists uh, of Rivera Protest Fresco. I can't really read that. Thousands slaughtered in Austria, the San Francisco News. Uh, there's all sorts of interesting, it's like a time capsule really is what this is. B. Bufano, St. Francis, just around the corner, Art Commission awakens from its deep sleep. Uh, very, very interesting actually to try to really find out the whole history of this place. Um, these murals here, I guess this almost looks like a library. People in a library, you know, reading books, reading newspapers. This guy is reading something here that says the weird spirit. Uh, what does it say here? Uh, comic strip by. Can't read it, but uh, it's very interesting. Let me give you ah, a description here. Bernard Zackheim, library. Joining the artist in the library are family and friends. The artist is reading a Hebrew book. Fellow artist John Langley Howard reaches for a Marx book. Ralph Stackpole learns about the destruction of the Rivera mural at Rockefeller Center in New York. And Bignamo Bufano reads about his proposed St. Francis statue. So once again, a very interesting historical portrayal of some of the issues of the time in the 1930s. And on this side, we have a big, big fresco here of a male uh, figure. It says here, observatory. So this must be maybe an astronomer or something like that. There is no, um, there is no description of what this is, but while I'm at it, let me show you something. The things you come across, look at these two guys jumping out here. I don't know exactly what they're doing. But we have a wonderful view here southwards uh, with a little bit of sunshine still of the Transamerica Pyramid, of course, with the two guys hopping and jumping in front of it. And uh, I'm, in a second, I'm going to show you the murals on the, uh, on the south side of the Coit Tower here. Now to look back briefly to this side, here is the uh, astronomer again, and here are the pictures of the library and the press.